those of you who heard, welcome to Super Kirby Clash, a brand new free to play Kirby game on the Nintendo Switch. This is a little bit different, it's not your normal Kirby adventure, instead it's a bunch of boss fights that you just get to go on over and over again. You get to build a team and get stronger and stronger as you go along. I've never played it, but there was a very similar game on the 3DS, so yeah, it seems like a lot of fun. Let me know if you plan on trying it, but with that being said, let's get started with Super Kirby Clash. Long, long ago, in a faraway realm, there was a beautiful, peaceful land called the Dream Kingdom. One surprising day, Hornhead went on a rampage across the seaside. And so it came to pass that Team Kirby set off on an adventure to restore peace to the kingdom. Ooh. All right, and we're off. Hello, Pink Stranger. You must be Kirby. Thank you for stepping up to protect the Dream Kingdom. You're a real hero. What am I talking about, you ask? Hornhead has suddenly gone berserk over in the seaside. We don't know what to do. Can you stop the attack and save our kingdom? Tilt up to check the quest board to your left. Your team can set out from there. Now get on your way and be careful. All righty, let's go ahead and check it out. Over this way, we got our quests. Very interesting, and our story quest. Select a quest and set off into the fray. I have no idea how to play, by the way, okay. Um, select area, seaside. Um, oh, here's Hornhead, um, and it looks like he has different rewards. Very cool. And we have our one teammate. Can I choose a different teammate? Oh, they have like different abilities and stuff, cool. We'll just keep the hammer one if it suggests that. That might be good. And, okay, here we go, we got some mission info. Defeat Hornhead, avoid letting anyone get KO'd, clear as a sword ability, which we have, and clear and earn a silver medal. Let's try it, let's set off. Am I ready? I'm as ready as I'll ever be, which is to say I'm not ready at all. Learn the controls. If you open up the pause menu during a quest, you can probably check the controls, okay. Oh boy, Hornhead has appeared, ready? Fight. Okay, so attack with the B button, guard with either L or R, or R, that's a tongue twister, and jump with the A button. You got it. Actually, not too crazy at controls. Watch it, I probably should have yeah, shielded that or something, but I was fine. So if I charge him while I'm running like that, that's pretty good too. I don't know, if, I guess he doesn't have a health bar. Just be careful, teammate. Pick up that donut if you need to. That's it, oh, not bad, did we already get him? No, no, he can't be done already. Hornhead is furious, that was only phase one. You're going down, buddy. So this game's just like a bunch of boss fights. It's really cool. Okay, do you wanna kiss? There you go, kiss for the healing. Oh, and this has a charge? Oh, that's cool. Ready for this, buddy? I don't think you are. Ooh, not bad. And a sandwich. You should probably go grab that if you can. Ooh, that was good. Power tablet one has appeared. Let me grab that. So we need to get multiple of those. Ow, that hurts just being right here. Okay, ow. Help me out here if you can. I think he should have some healing, or not. Ah. Uh. Oh, so there's even an upward slash. Whoa, hey, watch it. <laughs> not good. Oh, pumpkin. There it is, cool. And then there's the other shard. Thank you, teammate, for grabbing that. You got all the power tablets. Stop it at the center. Okay, I did pretty good. Excellent, plus 500, plus 1,000. I don't know what's going on. Oh man. Nice, okay, we did it. That was pretty cool. So I guess we defeated him. Victory. That was awesome. Okay, so our first enemy taken down. Clear time, KO bonus. Our experience is 289. We got a bronze? I thought we were gonna do a little bit better than that, but okay. Uh, clear time was a minute, yeah. Silver rank is 54 seconds. Gotcha. And we do get a level up for that. We are now level two out of 10. Cool, level two reached. I don't know what we get for leveling up. Ooh, extra stamina and attack. So I guess we could go back and probably defeat him a lot more quickly now. Maximum vigor has increased by one. Vigor recharged. I don't know what that is, but okay. Heroic mission cleared. Defeat. Hornhead, got it. Avoid letting anyone get KO'd. You got it, and clear as the sword, Kirby. We also get some fire w fragments, water fragments, and gem apples. You got a reward. 
Almost complete, reach level three. That'll be good. That'll inevitably happen. Rarity two, rarity three. You can now obtain rarity three gear. Huh. Finish heroic missions and receive rewards. There's like so much info. Like gem apples, learn more in your profile or add quest selection. To the village. Alrighty. Welcome back. Thank you for defeating Hornhead. But many more enemies continue their rampage throughout our land. We must rely on you, Kirby. There's something else you ought to know. The gem apple tree has matured. That means it's time for the first gem apple harvest. Here, take some. Sure. So we have 10 gem apples. You've harvested 10 gem apples. Oh, I almost forgot. The shop owner was looking for you, so be sure to check in with them. All right, well, thank you, Banana Waddle Dee. So this is a very interesting game. The shop owner was looking for you, yep, yep, yep. Okay, I thought you were gonna say something new. We could also, yeah, okay, here's the, the shop owner. Oh, it looks like the guy from uh, Return to Dreamland. Well, look what we have here. You must be Kirby. I hear you're a newcomer in the dream to the Dream Kingdom. My name is Magalore. Oh, it is Magalore, okay. I'm the owner of this shop. Why does nobody know who he is? I don't know. What's the shop, you ask? Well, we sell weapons, armor, and support items. Take your time and take a look. Okay, so first we're gonna buy a weapon. Here you can buy weapons. Equipping a weapon makes your attack go up, so that's neat. There are lots to choose from, like swords, hammers, staffs, and flasks. Buy a weapon when you're ready to be stronger. Next up, armor. Equipping armor boosts your stamina. We're always getting new in new hats and helmets, perfect for keeping your whole body safe. But it's also perfectly fine j to just choose one you look good in. <laughs> good. Uh, third in the list is support items. These are various kind. Uh, these are various kinds of uh, of useful items that'll help you out. Hmm. There are potions that'll fill your power up when you use them during a quest, and codexes that, once read, will grant you their effects permanently. Reading really is fundamental. Fourth is stickers. These are items that you use when playing online. They'll help you share your feelings when you're in a quest. There may also be stickers of your favorite characters, so definitely take a look. Last, we have gem apples. These are handy items that can be used for lots of different stuff. Whether it's weapons, armor, support items, or stickers, you'll need gem apples to buy all of them. And that's pretty much it. See, just chock full of stuff that'll come in handy on your adventure, right? I guess so. Of course, now why don't you do some shopping with those gem apples you've got there? Okay, so I guess that's sort of the idea with the gem apples is that, you know, that's why it's a free to play game is that I think you can buy gem apples with real money. I don't know if we'll need to do that, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, as you can see, that's the case. You could buy a ridiculous amount of them as well. Uh, we're gonna wait and see for now. Let's check out what weapons are available with the beginner's blade, which I'm pretty sure we already have. I don't know. Um, but I guess there's like different weapons for each ability type too, okay. So, you know, for the beginner's blade, swordsman's blade, knight sword, very cool. Then over for the, uh, yeah, we already own the beginner's mallet. Then there's also the warrior's hammer and the brave hammer. Beginner's flask, scholar's flask, physician's flask, and then beginner's staff, mage's staff, and magician's staff. I guess I'll improve the sword for now, or at least buy a better sword, because are, can I afford this? Oh, I don't have enough of a certain shard type, but I can afford this one. Yep. You got the swordsman's blade. Equip the new gear? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, we'll leave it at that for now. We'll also take a look at armor. We had the beginner helm. Oh, so there's even different gear depending on your uh, class here as well. Okay, so we'll just keep like with increasing the swordsman and maybe we can earn some stuff to do the other classes soon. Uh, swordsman's helm, sure thing. You got the swordsman's helm. Yes, equip it now. So that gave me plus 18 stamina. And before, how much of a boost did the weapons give me? Uh, this one gave plus 10 damage, that was pretty good. Uh, support items, I was more interested in the codexes, where are they at? Yeah, these are the codexes. Read this and get 1.2 times of fire fragments from quests. Uh, this effect is permanent. Like, that sounds really nice to me. We should probably start a, you know, putting away money for those right away. So, you know what, I'm just gonna do it. Because you know, the sooner we can get these multipliers, the better I'd imagine. You got Fire Fragment Codex Volume One. Cool, we can't quite afford anything else. There's also stickers. I'm not really too interested in buying these because I don't know if I'll be playing the game online all too much, but that one was hilarious. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, well, that was awesome. 
Harvesting gem apples. Gem apples will ripen and be ready to be picked again in 12 hours after a harvest. You're always welcome at my shop. Heroic missions cleared. Buy a support item for the first time and buy one codex. And that got us more money. More apples, you get a reward. Now we're almost done with that. We need to buy another piece of gear. But I'll leave that for later, I think. So what else is going on around here? We do have a little trophy of Curvy. You can get various fragments by using Amiibo. Do you wanna use an Amiibo? I don't know if I have any Curvy Amiibo. Yeah, I don't. So I don't know if I could be able to actually use any of those. Alrighty. So is there anything else I can do around here before we move back to the missions? There's a little bell, adventurer bell. Search for adventurers to be your teammates. You can also search online by connecting to the internet. Where would you like to search? Um, Cancel for now. I don't think I need that too much. And then over this way, the password. Oh, I saw a Nintendo tweet about this. So I think I'll do this in the next episode. You can put in a monthly password that'll give you some free stuff. He's gotta pay attention to Nintendo's Twitter, which is pretty cool. Story quest, select the quest and set off. Just like we did before. So we did the seaside before. New quests have appeared. Yeah. Both in the seasides and the dunes. Hearing of your exploits, a teammate joins you. Huh, interesting. So. Here in the seaside, there's still more to do. Colossal, Spear, Waddle Dee, and Waddle, or King Do, not Waddle Do. Very interesting, and I of course could go back and do these and get a better score on them and complete all the missions. Maybe we'll do that once we get to a higher level. Colossal, Spear, Waddle Dee looks like a challenging take, and we got two teammates now, which is very cool. Let's set off, and hopefully everything goes well. And this is where this game gets interesting. I don't know how far we will get along with this series because there is like timers and stuff. It is definitely a free to play game, but it's Kirby. I had to at least try it. I wanted to see what your guys' thoughts were on it so far. All that kind of stuff. Anyways, oh, so he sort of does some damage behind him when he does that. Oh, be careful. Yeah, there's like no health bar or anything, unfortunately. I didn't even look at any of the missions though. Probably should have done that. Maybe they'll tell me here. There is like different moves and stuff. I'll probably look at those a little bit more later. Oh boy. Hey, watch it. Uh, ooh, just barely. That was, no, that still hit me. <laughs> Never mind. Grabbing that. Okay, not too bad, I guess. Healed by food from Zebra, that's good. Power tablet one is over this way. And number two. Oh, okay, was that it? No, there's still more? I don't know. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh, healing area, thank you very much. He's gonna land right over this way. I'm gonna spin at him. Ooh, that was good, actually. There's another tablet, pick it up. Oh, I guess all three of us need our own tablet piece. We can then combine them. Wow, that was actually perfect. Okay, look at that, nice. And, see ya, buddy. Yikes, that must hurt. Team Meteor did massive damage. That's good. But he's still not finished, so here we go, we got him now. Hopefully that was good timing, but I don't know. Alrighty, so our second quest completed, taking on the giant uh, spear waddle dee or whatever it was. There's a lot of weird stuff going on in this game, I didn't really know what to expect. Okay, well that was still only a bronze. Not doing too well with that, but that's fine. Uh, we, oh, do get to level three. We're leveling up really quickly for the max level being 10. Huh, but that's gonna be extra stamina, even though our meter is very not full. So it looks like our maximum vigor got increased by one as well. Heroic missions cleared, very cool. Well, that was a lot more apples. And more rewards there. So there's just like constantly, you just get more and more rewards. Clear three or more story quests. To the village. Want more gem apples? Try completing some heroic missions. You can check them in your profile. Huh, are they different from story missions then? Welcome back, Kirby. Huh, looks like there are more types of new quests. They're called party quests and they can be played alone or with other people. Check them out on the quest board. Heroic missions cleared. Like 30 gem apples, which gets us, what do you know? More gem apples. <laughs> cool. So, let's check out our quests again. There's story quests, but now there's party quests. Thanks to Team Kirby's Heroics, Party Quest is now open. It's easier to collect fragments and gem apples there than in Story Quest. Wonder why that is. And we also get a new meter. 
Playing Story Quest uses Vigor. Playing Party Quest uses Vigor. Party, okay, so there's two different kinds of Vigor. So that's sort of our timer. If we run out of that, we can't play that certain mode anymore. Um, hearing of your exploits, a teammate has joined you. Your team is now full. So we now have four people. We could do a single system local player online plaza. So we could like, go against other people, take on party quests with adventurers or teammates. Uh, with, your, with enough controllers, you can play with up to four players. Huh. Interesting. For right now, I'm gonna continue with the story, but if we run out of vigor, I guess we could try that. For right now, there's King Du. And okay, they all have like a amount of vigor they use up for trying them. I'm starting to understand that a little bit more. We can go to our mission info, defeat King Du, avoid letting anyone get KO'd, uh, clear as the magician, I'll try that I guess, clear and earn a silver medal. The silver medal might not work out. But I might as well try changing our role to Dr. Healmore. So there's the Sword Hero, Hammer Lord, Dr. Healmore, and the Beam Mage. Oh yeah, that's what I need, the Beam Mage. The Timely Mage, keep your distance and break enemy defenses with a Time Beam. Okay, we'll try it out. Uh, set off. Yep, I'm sure of it. So there's like lots of info in this game. Beam Mage's special, press and hold B to do something. I'll keep it in mind. I'll press and hold that button specifically. This is game just keeps going and going now. But there really isn't too much story to it. It's just like, hey Kirby, beat up these bad guys, thanks. Dude, this is actually a lot like the beam ability. I understand now. Okay, ow. The problem is it's a little bit difficult to get over the enemies when they do stuff like that. Okay. I used time beam. I don't know how much that actually helped. Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. Ow, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> that was silly of me. Stop. Ouch. Oh, I'm in danger? Oh, that really did hurt. I would love to get into that healing zone. Come on, Mr. Healmore. Help me out here. Ah, uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh no, I died! Oh darn it. That's not good. Should I restart? Probably not. Probably maybe should have upgraded this guy's weapons or something. Well, they're, they're sort of helping me out for now. Can they? Okay, I was revived. Thank you so much. You're the best. Heal me, heal me. Thank you. Oh boy. So far, I'm not the best at the game. So maybe if I keep hitting with this, it seems like that clock goes farther and farther up. Maybe at some point you'll be totally frozen in time. That'd be great! Whoa, just barely jumped that one. That didn't get you at all. <laughs> I don't know if it, yo, it does charge more than that. Come on! Hit him again! I know he's about to charge at me, but if I charge at him, ooh, look at that, he's frozen. Go at him, guys. Come on. How long does it wait like this? I don't know, I don't trust it, though. That's a really cool move, though. I love it. And then we can immediately, ah, do not get hit again. Start working on him again, maybe? No, that was it. Okay, we didn't even need to use any of the slabs or anything this time. Weird, that's a little bit different. Alrighty, good job team, victory. So what is going on next? We got all three of the ones at the seaside completed with that. I mean, I'm sure more will pop up later. But the only problem is we didn't really do good on the time or anything. I think we missed out on some other rewards as well. But hey, at least we gained some more experience. So it looks like our level is actually, it doesn't matter on the class we're playing. Defeat King Do, clear as the Beam Mage, and clear three or more story quests. Not bad. So we could play a different quest or go to the, let's go to the village again. Because I, I don't know if anything more is gonna happen there. We can at least check out the shop. I'm sure there's plenty to do there. Uh, yeah, Waddle Dee is sleeping right now. Uh, hey there, did you know weapons and armor you've purchased can be equipped on teammates? Oh, don't forget to equip your teammates too. We'll have to keep that in mind. Cause that's what I wanna do now with whatever money I have is to at least get the base upgrade for everything. So let's redeem the hammer upgrade, the warrior's hammer. Um, equip the gear now. No. Uh, for right now, we'll also do this. Got the scholar's flask. I won't equip it now. And the mage's staff. That stuff is all very affordable, luckily. And then we can also do the same thing with the armor. So Mage's hat, at least for now. I think we should be able to afford all of it. Very cute hat, by the way. Uh, that adds 11, 11 stamina. 
and this is the Scholar's Cap. It keeps going though, as you can see. It goes for a while. Uh, we got the Scholar's Cap over this way, add some stamina as well. And then over this way, wait, okay, armor, not attack stuff. We have the Warrior's Helmet. And then one more, oh yeah, we already got the Swordsman's Helm. That's pretty cool. And then we might have enough for more support items, or not support items, oh yeah, they are support items, the Codexes. I'll redeem one more of these, very cool. I think that's worth it. Okay, so after another little shopping spree, we could go back and at least try to get like silver medals on those. Don't know if it's quite worth it yet. Thanks for your business, I truly appreciate it. Heroic missions cleared. Buy three pieces of gear, buy six pieces of gear, use 30 gem apples. All right, well, we get some rewards for it. At least we're spending money to make money, I guess. That's something. And let's check out our quests again. So I have enough vigor to go for one more, at the least. Seaside is all cleared out when it comes to completing things, but the Dunes has Mr. Frosty. Recommended level two. Well, I am level two, so that should be fine. Defeat Mr. Frosty, uh, heal a friend by feeding them, which we've done multiple times, hopefully we can do that here. Clear as the heal guy, and then clear and earn a silver medal. Okay. Enter, oh, I didn't realize there was a description. Uh, enter the Ice Beast, stamp out this nuisance before he freezes up the dunes. I wanna see the description for the other ones. Uh, so for Hornhead, it was the first quest, defeat the huge Hornhead wreaking havoc on, in the seaside. And the colossal spear Waddle Dee was, this huge Waddle Dee has an equally large spear to extend its reach give it even farther. Don't let it run you through. And then King Do, that big round eye is here and ready to glare daggers at you. If if looks could kill. Oh man, alrighty. Anyways, back to the dunes. Let's take on Mr. Frosty. I need to play as the healing guy. So that's what I'm going to do. Change my role to Dr. Healmore. Change our weapon to the Scholar's Flask and our armor to the Scholar's Cap. Move over to our teammate over this way. Um, And I guess make them the mage, because we need a mage now. How do I make them equip the gear? Okay, they already have it equipped. It seems, yeah. Well, actually, no, wait, you're supposed to. Did I change the wrong one? I did. But it seems like they already have the gear auto-equipped, so I don't know what they were saying, like, oh, change the equipment of your of your friends. Because it seems good to me. And then support items, I actually don't have any just yet. I don't know if I exactly need those. Maybe once we're going for medals and stuff. Right now, we'll set off on our quest, hope for the best, and yeah. See how things go. I like this game so far though, it's pretty fun. Oh man, Mr. Frosty has appeared, I'm ready. So I don't know how to play this guy. Actually, we should check real quick. So we have Bouncing Jewel, press and hold B and then release for the healing area, down and hold B for extra long and then release for the science lab. B while, guar while guarding during science lab is research fault, there's so much. Up B is spray medicine, Dash and then B in midair is bandage spin. Dash and hold B in midair is jewelry shop. It just keeps going. And then dash and B is a lot of stuff. Okay. Hmm. And this is some more basic things. So it's not too much. Like over time, I, I think I can do this. So if I just do that, as you can see, it's just a bouncing jewel. Gotta be careful for right now. And that seems like it can hurt. Well, I could, well that, that was a healing area, so it's not gonna hurt him. Um, yeah, we can hit him with the tome as well, just like, boom. That does some good damage. Oh, did that hurt me? I don't think it did. Keep hitting him, keep hitting him. I don't think it's doing anything. Now it is. He was sort of like in an invincible part. Whoa, look at him move. Everybody, get healed. Okay, maybe not the best spot for it. I could have kept charging it for a larger area, though. Watch it! Did I dodge that? No, I didn't. Come on. That's it. Look at this. Okay, very good. No, you don't. No, you don't. I need to feed somebody. Whoever needs health. Oh, I thought I had the food. Guess it didn't count. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know how I feel about this guy so far. Oh, I wanted the baguette. I didn't do most of the quests I needed to get done there. Oh well. Everybody's happy. Victory! I don't know how much I liked that class so far, but it was okay. 
Oh, we actually got silver that time. And our gold rank would have been in 47 seconds. That'd be a bit of a challenge, but with everybody upgraded, it definitely made a big difference. But anyways, we get level four, which I'm happy for because it refills our vigor, which means we can keep playing. I wonder what happens when we reach level 10 now. Like, I feel like that's just going by really quickly. And let's see what we get here. Most things. I mean, we did heal a friend by feeding them, I guess. Never mind, we got everything done then. And we cleared the silver medal for the first time. We get some light fragments here. So it looks like maybe there's different fragments you can get in different areas. Almost at level five. So we will go, I guess, play a different quest. I don't know what quests are available now. Maybe there's more, maybe there's not. I can only imagine now that we've cleared them all that there'd be more. Yeah, there's Ignite Edge and an ordeal has appeared directly in your way. What does that mean? Have some support items to help you on your quests. Use these before you set off. You can get more at the shop. Oh, so they're giving us some right now. You got some support items. This is Ignite Edge. He's an ordeal, which means something. A whole bunch of mystery uh, quests here. A mighty soldier in flame-colored armor stands in Team Kirby's way. Blow through this ordeal. Recommended level five. Oh no, I'm not quite level five. I did get a little marker here. Maybe for getting all the quests done. Yeah, all the missions are completed. That's interesting. Maybe I should focus first on getting all of these missions done and then I will go at him. To do that, I think I'm gonna change back to the sword hero. And then same deal with you is turn you into the healing guy. That seems good to me. All we have to do is complete it in silver, I think, and then we get this quest done. Let's hope that's the case. I don't know though. Okay, so Hornhead has appeared. I'm ready for you, buddy. Ow. Maybe I am. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. Well, we have more teammates now, so we're bound to beat you up, because before we were just punching you out with just two guys, so you would think it would be much more doable now. Yeah, he's going into his second phase already. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Okay, there's a fragment. Somebody else pick up the other one. Do we need four fragments now? I guess so. That's crazy. Come on, these guys gotta pick it up then. I can't pick it up for them. You've almost defeated it. Okay, we didn't even need the fragment. Never mind, we're good. That is definitely at least a silver. Good job, everybody. That was cool. So let's see. Ah, not a, oh, we were less than a second away from getting a gold. Darn, but that's still fine. We still got our mission done. And it's almost level five right there. Very good. So all of our missions are complete for this level, which is a nice thing to see. You got a reward. And clear quests five times as the sword Kirby. We are going to go back and play a different quest now. I don't know, maybe if I replayed the same quest, though, would I have to spend Vigor? I don't know. Maybe that would have been a better choice. Because I have eight Vigor right now, so if I don't go and do this, well, this costs apples. Huh, that's interesting. Yeah, you have to use Gem Apple, so I actually don't have to worry about Vigor too much. For right now, I will work on getting Colossal Spear Waddle D then. Because all we had to do here also was get the Silver Metal, I think. Keep attacking the enemy, power tablets will come out of them. Yeah, we saw that before. All right, are you ready? Spin right through you. Not bad. And then I can do an upward attack, maybe. Yeah, when he's flashing like that, he like, cannot take damage. But that time he did. Oh, and I, then I can slam down, that's cool. Okay, grab the cherry for sure. Oh, you're going down, buddy. You've almost defeated it. I don't even have to worry about the thing. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> there we go, that slam down move worked great. Okay, so that had to be a silver medal. I don't know if it was a gold exactly. But yeah, definitely a silver. Once again, less than a second away the, uh, from getting it. Oh man, so close. And is that level five? Yes it is. That was worth it then, for sure. Very good. I mean, maybe there's still more missions we can do there. I'm not really sure. Maximum vigor increased by one. 
Vigor recharged. That's good to see. Daydreaming went up by four. Not that it matters. What is that supposed to mean? I don't know. Okay, those are the two missions completed then. Or I guess two more missions. Reach level five is good. Okay, so I think we're good to take on that one situation that we had. Yeah, play a different quest. Lots going on in this game so far. It's just basically a Kirby action fighting game kind of thing. It's just boss fights constantly. But yeah, now we can take on Ignite Edge. Want to use one gem apples? Of course I do. The power of the gem apples has opened the path to a new quest. Cool. Oh, now I have to spend vigor. That's sort of lame. Okay, I thought it was just, you know, a gem apple instead of it. So let's see the uh, mission info. I need to def defeat Ignite Edge, guard against an attack, clear this quest after def after reaching level seven plus. So I gotta come back at some point. Clear and earn a golden medal. That one might also be when I'm level seven plus. Guard against an attack. That we can do that. <laughs> what was the first one though? Oh yeah, defeat Ignite Edge. That's pretty easy. Um, Heroic rank, 22 out of 900. That's a little weird. I don't know what that's about. But I'm ready to set off. Oh boy. Oh, this is like actual story stuff. A sword wielding suit of armor stands in Team Kirby's way as they head through the dunes. Watch out, this foe carries a flaming sword. Fight through this ordeal. I would love to. Okay. Ignite Edge has appeared. This guy's intense. You know, I have a sword too. Mine might not be on fire, but at least I have the flames of passion within my heart. Haven't had to actually block anything yet. Okay, ow, that that just hurt me for not too much of a reason. See, does, that, does that work as a, as a guarding? I don't think so. Okay, get him, maybe. <laughs> that didn't quite work. Slam on him. I missed him. Oh boy. Oh, I tried to block it. I don't think it worked. I haven't actually been in a position where I can block anything. Oh, here we go, here we go. Ready? No, once again, same thing as last time. <laughs> here. Oh, that had to count, right? I think it did. Oh, you get back here. <laughs> I'm not done with you. Oh, ready for this? That didn't hurt him. Oh, now he's furious. He was just getting started. Not bad, not bad. I didn't take, ah, any damage until it came back. It was a boomerang sword. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> that one didn't work as well. Okay, that wasn't too bad either. I'm working on it. We're, we're trying to get more shards out of them too. Oh, this one's mine, this one's mine. Don't worry about it. So there were, there's still more people trying to get shards out. Whoa. You know, I can slam on you just as much as you're slamming on everybody else. Come on guys, there's one over this way. Grab it, grab it. And that's everybody. Okay, so let's try to land this right in the center. Ah, not too bad. And it looks like the other Kirby's get a chance to do it too. Not too bad. Okay, smack him. Whoa, 4,000 damage. And now's our chance, he is stunned. Oh, whoa, he's frozen too. Perfect timing. Come on. It's our best chance of getting him. Oh, did we get him? I don't know. I think so. Look at that Ignite Edge is taken down. Victory. So this game is just boss fight after boss fight. It's really cool. So is there, okay, yeah, I have to press the button, sorry. So what is our score for this one? Will it be a silver? Nope, it'll be a bronze. Yeah, we needed to be 20 seconds faster there for a silver. Oh well. We gotta come back later anyways. So halfway through level five, we did get some heroic missions completed. As you can see, I think that we should finish off today's episode by buying some more things and then that'll be good. But yeah, a fun start to the game for sure. Let's go back to the village. Ooh. Team Kirby triumphed in its first ordeal, opening a new path to the ruins and revealing new quests. With no time to feed their rumbling bellies, the heroes press onward to the ruins to investigate the mysterious goings on there. Ooh, so we'll be going to the ruins next episode. Welcome back, Kirby. Good job clearing that ordeal. 
I'm impressed. You were able to defeat an enemy like that. I'd have been shaking too much to hold a weapon. I guess that's why you're the adventurer. Speaking of which, have you rung the adventurer bell here in the village to call other adventurers yet? I hear they'll fight alongside you in quests and even bring you gifts. So you should definitely give it a try. All right, well, we'll try that out right now. Uh, adventurer bell. Offline. If I do it offline, does that mean like other players, like actual like people next to me? Oh, it's just gonna, <laughs> you got gifts from six adventurers. Oh, that's cool. Uh, this guy, the lost mage. Uh, the ghostly hammer. Oh, I like him, he's cool. The shy mage. And the puffy doctor. And another puffy doctor, there's two puffy doctors. I guess there might be twins. They couldn't decide on a name, so they decided that they should both have the name. Uh, the Shy Hammer. Interesting. That's cool. Can I do that again? But also, heroic missions clearing the adventure bell for the first time. Can I do that again, but online? I'm not really sure. Uh, you can wait another 23 hours to call adventures or spend gem apples to do it. Now, I understand now, got you. Okay, so yeah, I can talk to these guys and I can always see their stats. So I guess they can join me in some battles next episode instead of uh, my other characters. Oh, look, it's Kine. It's either Kine or Ku, or Rick. I don't remember. Uh, interesting, he's just flying around. And it looks like Magalore has some gifts for me. Welcome, Kirby, you won't want to miss this. I'm giving out a free sample of gem apples today. You can find them in the gem apple section. Really? Ooh, free stuff is always fun. So let's open up our gift whenever it's done. So our gift is up this way. Gem apples, three of them, wow! <laughs> what an ordeal. Alrighty, well let's check out some extra stuff then. I don't know if we can quite afford, actually we could already afford the next like tier of weapons, at least to some degree. So let's get the knight sword. Awesome, I'll equip it, thank you. Moving over this way, the brave hammer. Sure, why not, thank you. And then also, over this way, the Physician's ma Flask, not mask. Uh, that adds 16 damage. And then lastly, we have the Magician's Staff. Yeah, it's the Mage's Staff, the Magician's Staff. It also adds recovery, so some really good stuff we're getting here. Really good rewards. Uh, and then also, I wanted to go to the support items and start getting some of these. I mean, I didn't apply any of the potions that I already had before, so maybe I should wait for those. And there's like experience orbs. Use this before setting off to double your experience for 30 minutes. The effect can last for multiple quests. Like, that's cool, but costs 200 for five of them or 50 for one of them. That's pretty expensive. And then there's mini experience orbs for the same thing, but just for smaller uh, frag or no, fragments, yeah, I guess. So it was like sort of smaller quantities. Anyways, uh, is there anything else I can really afford here? These just straight up cost apples. They don't cost anything more than that. I wanna get all the volumes ones before I get any more volume twos. So we have like the light fragment codex. I will get that. And then the rare fragment codex. Read this to boost your chances of earning rare fragments from your quest. Sure. And then over this way, Codex of Vigor makes it easier to regain vigor at a rate of one for every six minutes. The effect is permanent. I would actually really appreciate that. Awesome. Adventurer Gift Codex, read this to increase the gifts you can get when you ring the adventurer bell. This effect is permanent, thank you. <laughs> okay, so that's all I can afford for right now, but there are some other things here as well. Plenty more codexes to read, that's a lot of fun. So far this game's pretty good. I will definitely be playing more soon, so stay tuned for that. Definitely let me know if you've played the game so far and how far along are you, and if you have any hints for me, I'd love to hear about it. See you soon, Kirby, and see you soon to everybody watching. That's gonna wrap up for today's episode of Super Kirby Clash. Before you go, be sure to comment Zebra Clash, show an A-Vlox at the end of the URA, a zebra viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.